Scotch broom is a weedy shrub native to Europe and the Canary Islands. It was intentionally introduced to North America in the 1800s as an ornamental plant, fodder for domestic sheep, and for erosion control. Scotch broom is still sold and planted as an ornamental in many parts of North America. Although Scotch broom is present throughout much of North America, the worst infestations generally occur in the West. This species does best in cool, temperate regions with dry to semi-moist soils, full sun, and disturbed soil. It's frequently found in or along timber clearcuts, hillsides, fallow fields, roadsides, riverbanks, and degraded coastal dunes. Scotch broom is a major concern for displacing native species in natural areas, grasslands, and commercial forests. Cattle generally avoid grazing scotch broom. Older growth is unpalatable, and toxic compounds in seeds have resulted in livestock death. Wildlife, goats, and sheep will browse young growth and flowers. However, scotch broom frequently forms dense, impenetrable thickets that block animal access to water and more desirable forage. Scotch broom is an extreme fire hazard due to the high oil content of foliage and seeds and the large amount of dead leaves and stems in plant centers and beneath their canopy. Scotch broom is a shrub that typically grows 3 to 10 feet tall from a thick, forked taproot. When growing in locations with dense vegetation or shade, scotch broom produces a single main stem. At more open sites, scotch broom produces multiple densely branched stems. Older plants have very woody bases. Most seeds germinate in spring or early summer. Stems of young plants are hairy. As the plants age, stems become hairless and five-angled or star-shaped in cross-section. All stems are green and used in photosynthesis. Leaves are small, alternate, separated into three leaflets, and appear in early spring. The bottom sides of leaflets are often fuzzy with short hairs. Leaves are deciduous early in the growing season and in times of stress, leaving stems bare and green. Plants begin flowering at 18 months to three years of age. Flowering usually occurs in early spring, though an occasional plant may bloom throughout the year. Flowers are usually yellow, but may occasionally be off-white to red. They are half to one inch long, appear singly or in clusters of two, and are characteristic of the pea family, with petals forming a banner and keel similar to a boat. Seed pods can grow up to three inches long. They are flattened, have hair only on the margins, and turn brown at maturity. Each contains three to 12 smooth brown oval seeds. A mature plant can produce up to 15,000 seeds annually that may remain viable for at least 30 years. When seed pods mature, they dry out and burst open, helping scatter seeds short distances. Some plants may live for 30 years, though most live 15. Numerous species present in North America have yellow, pea-like flowers similar to Scotch broom. However, the majority of these are forbs instead of shrubs. Gorse resembles Scotch broom with its similar shrub habit, yellow, pea-like flowers, pod fruit, and green stems. Gorse differs in that mature plants are covered with sharp spines rather than leaves. Other exotic brooms are present in North America and more closely resemble Scotch broom with their three-parted leaves, pea flowers, green and spineless stems, and pod fruits. Bridal Veil broom has white flowers and circular pods. French broom has smaller flowers and pods, and its pods are covered in dense hair. Portuguese broom has smaller and hairier seed pods. And Spanish broom has leaves not divided into three leaflets, and its seed pods are covered in dense hair.